I get asked this question all the time. Why is it that Allah always speaks about men in the Quran? Meaning what? Allah always uses the male tense to say that they're getting this reward and that reward. How come Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't speak about the women? Now this incident, subhanAllah, is a question being asked to the Prophet by none other than our mother Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha, the great wife of the Prophet one of the scholars of the companions of the Prophet She says that I said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Messenger of Allah, how come we are not mentioned in the Qur'an, we the women are not mentioned in the Qur'an, the way the men are mentioned in the Qur'an. We do the same things that they do, though there are some natural restrictions, especially in that time, meaning the men would go out and battle, the women would not, and so on and so forth, but you know, they were making the preparations, they were really involved in each and every single aspect of the Ummah. So she asked the Prophet ﷺ that. And she said that the Prophet ﷺ, he was silent, meaning he thought about what she said and he was silent. And she said that the Prophet ﷺ, you know, he moved on, meaning the conversation just went elsewhere and the Prophet ﷺ had to go. And she said that he didn't answer me until he was speaking on the pulpit. And she said, I went to the door and I started to listen closely to what the Prophet ﷺ was saying. And she said, I heard him saying, and this is the verse now, which is in Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, the Muslim men and the Muslim women, the believing men and the believing women, the obedient men and the obedient women, the truthful men and the truthful women, the patient men and the patient women, the humble men and the humble women, the charitable men and the charitable women, the fasting men and the fasting women, the men who guard their private parts and the women who do so as well, and the men who remember Allah often and the women who do so as well, for them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared forgiveness and a mighty reward. SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala literally listed out every single category to show that women are truly equal to men, not just in the worldly sense, but also in piety. That verily the most righteous of you and the most noble of you in the sight of your Lord, are those of you who have the most taqwa and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not spare a single category here to show that women can compete with men and women can excel even beyond men in all of these categories and that's the point.